Earth Shaker. Hello everyone and welcome to this weekly video. This one is very spontaneous and very much not planned in the slightest. Um, I just want to make a quick apology. I realised that the thumbnail for this one is probably quite clickbaity. I don't actually hate GW. I just hate what it does to my brain sometimes. So this week's video was supposed to be a painting video, very similar to that of the Krieg one I did a while ago. I was sitting down to paint uh, Commissar Rain. It's a gorgeous model and it's been like in my pile for ages. And I thought, well, do you know what? I want to supplement some of my pile with the stuff that's going on with the heresy, because <gasps> heresy hype. Um, and I started, sat down and I started painting it. And then things went downhill from there. So as luck would have it, I'm sat painting Serene and GW drops the new Astra Militarum uh, announcement with Creed, the new Creed model and Carsicans and oh my days, uh, my brain went absolutely nuts. I did like a couple of social media posts and I had a talked with a couple of people and my brain just decided it was going to run off with itself. Now this is the focus of the video really. It's a combination of pros and cons. I've been asked a number of times by fellow hobbyists and content creators how I'm able to get as much done as I do. Now my son refers to it as my superpower because when I become hyper fixated on something I just sit down and I go for it. Obviously when the announcement for Heresy dropped, I dug out a lot of old miniatures, I dug out half finished units, I even dug out some units that were in the pile of shame just so I could be doing something Horus Heresy orientated. And the same thing applies when there is a 40k announcement and it's something that I am interested in or invested in, so with the Primaris or um, certain characters and things like that. So, this is something that, whether you know my son calls it a superpower, I consider it to be both a pro and a con. Because, yes, okay, it's brilliant that my mind works in this way and that I can become so focused on that particular interest. And this isn't just with Warhammer, this is with all of my hobbies. It's also a bit of a curse. This is also one of the things that, uh, tipped my therapist off and s referred me for uh, ADHD and autism screening. Now, although I haven't done it yet and I haven't gone through the process yet, they've said, already turned around and said that it's highly likely that I am, which wouldn't surprise me in the slightest because I can lose track of time. I can lose about five or six hours focused on just one miniature. It happens on a regular basis. Same thing when it comes to reading a book. I can sit down when I'm in the mood, I start reading and oh, I finished that book or I've finished five chapters. So there's definite pros and cons with it. In this regard, in this instance, I was up till four in the morning <laughs> painting uh, Guardsman, basically. I ended up going on Google and looking up how to paint uh, Cadians because I've painted one, I think, that was influenced and inspired by the uh, Hammer and Bolter episode, Cadia Stands. I thought it was an absolutely brilliant episode. It was really nice to see something that wasn't Marines for a change. And I immediately dropped everything I was doing at the time and painted up a single gas. Now I've, I've got the drive and the motivation. I can probably get the rest of his unit done. When it comes to Monday night's escapades, it was dig out the box, go through what I had. Turns out I had more caskins than I thought. There was a Lehman Rust that's been sat wallowing in a box. And from there, it was just a case of get started and get painting. So I guess we'll start with the pros. First off, it means this incident meant that I was able to get a tank painted and five caskins and a commissar. Now normally painting tanks for me takes weeks. It's a couple of hours here and there because tanks do not interest me in the same way that your bog standard line infantryman does. 
So that was a positive. The second positive is spending time doing something that I enjoy. Which yes, I do that on a fairly regular basis. But there's a difference between sitting down to paint and then sitting down to paint when you hyperfixated. It's like all of your enthusiasm and motivation and the enjoyment itself is is heightened, you know, quite extensively. And it means that you end up looking at different things and researching different things and I say things a lot apparently in this video. What I mean by that is looking at new techniques, looking at ways to achieve a very specific style or a very specific look or theme. And because you're so hyper fixated, it leads you down rabbit holes. I, from one video of you know, how to paint Cadians, I then went on to GW's how to paint tanks, for example. And then from there, it led me to eight or nine different channels with different techniques, different ways of doing weathering, different ways of doing battle damage. And it's just a big rabbit hole. But the because everything's heightened when you're in that state, the enjoyment level is out through the roof. So yeah, okay, I say all oh, my days I was you know I was up till four in the morning painting. Woe is me. Okay, it's not that much of a bad thing. But at the same time, not everyone has that opportunity. If you've got to, if I if I was working full time like I was two years ago. I would not have dreamed of doing that. I wouldn't have dreamed of staying up till four in the morning to paint. However, if I'd have then shown self-restraint and gone to bed, I would have had a horrible night's sleep, which would have led to a horrible work day. So allowing yourself to become hyperfixated sometimes isn't always a bad thing. Now, of course, this then leads us to the cons, I guess. Um, First off, we all know that lack of sleep does not help with your mental health. So becoming hyperfixated and staying up till like four in the morning, five in the morning, is not healthy. It's not good for you and it can exacerbate ongoing mental health conditions. So there's number one. Number two is yeah, it's it's if you like if you're working. If you've got a full-time job, you cannot afford to be going to bed at four o'clock, only getting a couple of hours sleep, and then going to work and having a horrible work day. It's a surefire way of leading to not being in work, and that's not good for anyone. I'm a full-time carer for Mrs. Apocathery, and she's understanding enough and recognises when I am having these hyperfixated moments whereby if I, as previously mentioned, if I, if I try and show, if I restrain myself, I will then end up having a terrible night's sleep. So it's, it's all about balancing between dipping your toe in, allowing yourself to become hyper fixated on stuff, but not too much that you can't then pull yourself away. Me, I failed in that regard. I would that was it i was i was done for the night i was sat down i had drink i stopped occasionally to do the walking around thing and give my eyes a break and make a brew but the entire time my brain was on that same track another negative to this another con to this would be that you end up painting all your models in one sitting and that's not good i'm I'm kind of lucky in that regard because I have some more caskins that I need to strip and I have a lot of Cadians that I need to repaint. But if you get that spark and you sit down and you paint everything all in one go, then you're going to be left with nothing else to paint. And that's not fun. Especially in this day and age, cost of living goes up. It's not it's 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 a hobby at the end of the day. It's a luxury, you know, it's not a necessity. And so, again, it's it's about balancing between your needs and your wants. So hyperfixation can then lead to other complications, other cons, as it were. Final recording, take three. Um, <laughs> so, with all that being said, we'll finish on some positives, shall we? The first one is, there's new Guardsman models coming. Whoa! Um, I particularly like uh, Creed's Daughter. 
I like the level of detail that they've put into it. I love the feel that it gives off, the vibe that it gives off. It's brilliant. It's it's Miss Trunchbull meets serious mama bear. Like, heavens forbid you nom one of her guardsmen. She is likely to empty both those pistols into your face, let's face it. I, I absolutely love it, and I can't wait to, for its release. I really want to paint that one. The new Caskins look amazing. Uh, I... I think they they they're be- they look better than the white metal ones, but the white metal ones are also kind of iconic now. Uh, and I've I've enjoyed painting these white metal ones. I think I'm going to enjoy painting the new plastic ones as well. The new Sentinel, mm, I wasn't so sure at first, but after painting this Lehman Ross and trying out this camo because I wanted the camo to look very similar to the Caskins. I think because it's a lot flatter and a little bit rounder in places, I think it'll work a lot better. And you'll probably be able to play around with different styles of camo as well that previously were either very awkward or very difficult to replicate on a Sentinel. So that's a bonus. That's that's definitely a positive. That's definitely a bonus. Uh, for me personally, this has given us the motivation to get started on something that I've always wanted to do which is which is actually do a small Cadian army tanks heavy infantry style and it gives me another another army to, to tie in with my ongoing uh, head cannon for like the umbral wolves and where they're fighting and a planet don't worry I will be doing a video on that soon I promise uh, but yeah th- there are some positives I hope you've all enjoyed this video uh, I hope it's been in some way has been uh, insightful. It's kind of been a inside the mind of the miniatures apothecary, I guess. <laughs> I know, scary place. If you want to learn more about uh, hyperfixation and things along those lines, I will drop some links in the description below. Uh, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. It's always great to hear your feedback and your thoughts on these subjects. I really enjoyed putting this video together and even though I'm tired now and slightly burnt out, I feel like I can now move on back to the heresy and get some more painting videos planned for the future. So thank you all for watching and I'll catch you all next time.